Okay, sorry, we're gonna make this quick because the rain's about to fall. So for this door, I forgot to put it in the first half. It just comes in like so. Then you, you put it out. If you see the clips on the bottom here, they go in. Okay, on, step inside. So once you have it pushed in like this, oh, sorry, so the, the top part has to come in. Did you get that top part coming in? So this piece is on the inside. Then you could open the door. The frame is in, you just kind of get it in here snug and put the clips like so. Once that's good, there's one clip on the top. Unfortunately, the other side is no longer there. But just as long as you get that one side in, and again, like the beds, Velcro on the outside and on the inside. So you just Velcro it like so, and it'll close you up. Same thing on the outside, okay? So now we're gonna move fast on the close up. Um, with close up, first thing before anything, this has to fold down. I put this little rug here, it's clean, sanitized, and we just drop it. So that way it, it helps with this thing rubbing on the bottom. That's gotta be first before anything. Otherwise, when you push the beds in, you're gonna get caught. All the supports for the beds, tuck them back under where they belong. Pull these down. The Velcro you could undo from the outside or inside. Just remember, take your supports off. Just tuck them underneath the mattresses. <clears throat> tuck them underneath and then you're pretty much good inside. Here are the latches I was talking about for the bump out. Sometimes they get hooked. Uh, and if it doesn't push in, it's because of that. So you can see the other side is latched. So if I were to push it in, it wouldn't go. So just unlatch it. It's a little bit hard sometimes. Sorry. You might have to push and give it a little pull. You can grab it from underneath here and give it a push and pull so you can undo that latch. Okay. Now we go to the outside. First, actually, the door that we just lovely put in. Remove your Velcro. Your clip from the top, clip from the sides, and then just give it a little push out, and the door is out. And now just leave the door out here somewhere until you're ready to put it in, which you'll see me do it later in this video. So I guess you can do your steps first. Just cut those in. You don't want to drive off with the steps on. Your tuck away door. Now that's closed. Bed so, so undo your bed. Pull your bed supports. Just throw them down to the side. So again, you just lift the bed. Lift, pull the support. Get all your, pull up all your Velcro, and tuck that in, because you'll see once we go down, we're gonna have to make sure everything's tucked in. Same with, with, with your bump out. The bump out has to go in first. So slide it in like so, and it latches to lock it in. With the fabric for the, for the bump out, Leave it hanging out until you put the beds in, then push that in. Because sometimes pushing the beds in, they get they get caught, right? So you can also undo this as you're on your way. Tuck it in behind. You can pull your, your one. You remember to pull these out because if you go to drop the tent, it won't come down if you have the braces in. So again, just undo all your Velcro. Lift with your shoulder even. Get one out. Same with the other one. Pull all your fabric in. Sorry guys, this isn't gonna be a YouTube video. Nobody's gonna give me an award for this one, but just put all your fabric in. Push. Once you push, I usually stop until the tabs are just hanging out a little bit. And I get the fabric in as, as best as I can. I'm gonna come over this way. So again, with your little 
flap here. You un unzip it or unvalcro it, push it in behind. This is all good. Here as well, your support. Remember, they're on opposite corners, right? You're gonna wanna pull this. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, but the rain is coming. <laughs> you don't wanna get caught in the rain. And neither will you when you're camping. So uh, just pull this. Pull this and fold that like so. Now we're gonna push this bed in. Remember, you wanna put you wanna put the bump out in first. If the bump out goes in first, or else you'll never get the beds in. Fold all this. To anybody I've sent this to that's renting, don't forget you can call me as long as it's not in the middle of the night and I'll help you out the best I can to this side. Here's the fabric from the bump out. Right now we have the beds in. So this is, just goes in. Just throw it in like this. You'll see as we're going down, you're gonna need that like, like that. So we're all in all the way around, right? Now this is when, oh, where'd you go? We come back to the door, watch your step there. So on most videos and probably the video that you watched that was made by Palomino, the door is hung from the top, but over years, you know, uh, those latches don't hold. So now the door is like, so, but I find it better anyways, cause I did have it when it was like that and it was a pain in the butt. This here just throws on like so. Um, also, we usually have the mattress covers on when we send it out. Uh, I think this weekend or for tomorrow, I'm going to just give you the mattress uh, covers because we're washing them right now so that they're clean for you guys. Um, I'll, I'll pass you the mattress covers and if you could, please put them on. They're waterproof and then you can throw your sheets over top. Uh, this way, you know, you have your stuff and we have our stuff and we protect our, our equipment. Now we're going to go down, so the same button as the up. We're just going to hit that button, and away she goes. You have to hold it, it's a constant pressure switch, so you have to hold it, which is good because if something gets caught, you can stop. I like to say once you get about a foot left, coming down, inches I think I'm pretty good if I got a measuring tape that's 12 inches <laughs> tuck this in Come follow all the way around I really want to get a measuring tape I think this is exactly 12 inches my wife doesn't believe me <laughs> Okay, so now we're pushed all the way in again, and we go down the rest of the way. As you can see, it wasn't all the way down. It doesn't tend to go down all the way every time. Just give it a push. Maybe have your partner help you, or whoever's with you. Again, with the latch, the first one has that little button. This, this is a, this is supposed to be for the, uh, when you're going up, it tells you when you're maxed out, but I don't use it, um, as you can see. So we're just gonna tuck it in there. If it hangs out, don't worry about it. I'm not too concerned about it. Just put her in like so. This side tends to get stuck, see? Don't worry, just give it a, a little shake and it'll come down. Give yourself a pull. Again, if you have somebody with you, it's useful to ask for help. Not like my wife, she usually just holds the camera. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> you know, if anybody ends up watching this to the end, maybe they'll get some of my jokes. <laughs> so you don't give up right away. Okay, so that's clipped in. Now we're, we're locked in. Um, for your poles, don't forget all poles. So four bed supports, four of these inside. Two tent supports, two of them inside. And then that's it for this part here. Oh, yeah. My wife wants me to Okay. So there's the other one. Show you a couple quick things with the tear down as well. This is just a crank, so as you're going down, uh, you get it hooked up. Sometimes this, when you set it up to your ball, it might not drop properly. This piece, this has to drop, so you can adjust your car back and forth by, you know half an inch max back and forth to get this ball to get this to drop this is what locks it you need to make sure this is down okay uh, you'll know it's down you could throw this pin in here like this if it goes all the way through you know you're down i don't have the screw here somebody must have lost it but as long as you got that in there like that you should be fine your hooks they hooked on to the underneath where your where your your hitch is uh, I'll show you quickly on my van. They hook up. Now, if you notice that these are down and dragging, just spin this. Spin this, and it'll shorten them and hook it. Don't cross them. They're not supposed to be crossed. People tend, tend to think that they're supposed to be crossed. They're not. Put one on this side, one on the other side. There's your other one. Again, if they're hooked, spin them. Usually, I'll boost this up first, and I'll work with the jacks to get it on the hitch with my drill so the drill will bring it down slowly or you can come off of those and use this because this is manual so maybe it's better for first time use just uh, bring the jacks up a little bit you know and then go with this slowly down so that you drop onto your ball now once you're once you're all done you should be able to remove all the blocks lift up your jacks all the way and you can uh, you'll be hooked up Oh, your seven prong, seven prong electrical, you're going to want to hook up as well. It's a little horn, but it works, your light should work. So if you come back to my, back to my van here, they, they have your hooks here. Your hooks go here. So if you have this type of hook, uh, this type of hitch, your hooks will hook here and here on either side. And then your plug for your electrical is right here. And that's a two inch ball. Now, one more thing. site here's your electrical plug I wish my wife would have video inside inside of my dirty garage so here's your electrical I put the adapter in as well the adapter will be in the storage and you just tuck this Video is going to be longer than the Palomino one, isn't it? And then don't push it all the way in because then you lose the, the head. Just push it enough so that you can close this little lat and it's easy to reach for. You have your city connect here. If you do have water, you can connect here and then this is the drain. Uh, you, there's a hose inside the storage. You can connect here and it'll just drain to the floor. Inside the trailer, I didn't mention there's a switch close to the sink, it's a little white switch that turns the water pump on. So if you have water connected, you hit that switch and it'll pump, it'll turn the pump on allowing pressure for the sink. If you don't have water, obviously that won't work. So one more look around, you have all that connected, you have all those clamped, all these clamped, you're pretty much good to go. When you're taking off, store, store the wood pieces inside the storage. So when you put up all four jacks, remember four, four jacks, put them all up. Take the wood, put them in the storage. Then, as you're hooked up, 
you reverse about an inch and you'll be able to pull out the, the tire chocks and then store the tire chocks inside the storage bin as well. Um, don't forget the storage, uh, to store the chocks because you'll need them along with the, the pieces of wood as well. And I think that pretty much wraps it up for everything I can think of. Again, to whoever's watching this video, you'll have my number and you can text or call me if there's any issues. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I think I'm sweating a little bit here. <laughs>